and the commish is in the house. The commish is back here on the channel that won't stop, can't stop, the People's WWE channel. And right now, you tell all of your friends, you spread the word you get your voice heard and tell everyone you know you get this video shared you comment below get those comments get those questions in check out that description smash that bell turn in every single one 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 of my notifications on go and view and like wwa world wrestling alliance on facebook as well as f C W, you can add me on Facebook at Ricky J Pate, not Patty Pate, and follow me on Twitter at Rick the Rock Thirty, and take up those two shout outs you like and subscribe. You like and subscribe for two shout outs for two shout outs you like and subscribe. You like and subscribe for two shout outs. And for those people that have already liked and subscribed, well, you've got your two shout outs, so that's the way it is. But to everybody else, do like and subscribe. And first thing is first, I will be going live on Facebook on the FCW page later on. And I will be addressing my role as commissioner. And dropping a massive, massive bombshell. So tuning into that, that will be later on. But this is going to be a two-part, a two-way review video. And I will start with... And while doing this, you like and subscribe. I'm going to start with the NXT UK TakeOver Cardiff. Um, and I will probably have bought some of these matches this way. Some I wouldn't have. So there were six matches on the night. And we kicked off with the Supernova 11 Noam Dar going one-on-one -on -one against the Kiwi Bussar, Travis Banks. Uh, good gun match to kick things off. Um, yeah, really good. Noam Dar has got a lot better. And we did have a shot win here because Noam Dar picked up the one, two, three. I would have had Travis Banks winning. I would have booked Travis Banks to get the win. Next up, we did have... A surprise, it was the King of Swing, it was the man on the main roster, Cesaro, taking on NXT UK's own Eli Dragunov. And this was a really good match, very, very hard hitting, very fast paced. Cesaro with 40 swings, which is absolutely incredible. Um, good, good match. And again, another shot win, Cesaro. Pinned Ela Dragunov for the W. Again, if I had put that, Ela Dragunov would have got his hand raised high. Next up was a championship match. It was for the NXT UK Tag Team Titles in a triple threat match. It was the team of Cardis Own, Wales Own, Mark Andrews, and Flash Morgan Webster. It was Joe Coffey and Wolfgang Gallus, and it was James Drake and Zach Gibson, the grizzled young veterans, and the crowd was absolutely hot. Certainly hot for this one. They were hot throughout the night, but certainly hot for this one. Uh, yeah, really, really good match. Very fast paced, very hard hitting. Um, I thought the match would have gone on forever. I really didn't know who was going to win. Uh, many, many pinfalls. And, well, we made history. We have brand new NXT UK Tag Team Champions and. The first ever Welsh NXT UK Tag Team Champions in the team of Flash, Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews. So, good decision there. Next up, in a last man standing match, it was the Bomber, the undefeated Dame Mastiff, going one-on-one -on -one against Galaxy Zone, the leader, Joe Coffey, who says it's his kingdom. This, again, another good match. Great match. They went everywhere. They fought everywhere. They brawled. Everything was involved. Tables, chairs, everything. Um, yeah, it was absolutely crazy. Absolutely mental. Um, and, again, another shot win. Dave Mastiff lost. And your last man standing match in this one was Joe Coffey. I suppose Joe... I would have had Dave Mastiff remaining undefeated and going on to 
win the UK Championship, but there it is. Speaking of championships, it was for the WWE UK Women's Championship. It was KLR and Scotland's own Kaylee Ray taking on Tony Time, Tony Storm. This a good match, but probably didn't really go the, go the distance. Uh, former best friend taking on former best friend. And coming out with that pinfall, coming out with that victory, coming out with that W and coming out with that championship is Scotland's own K Lee Ray. So yeah, good decision there. She's gonna get pushed, why not? And in your main event, the main match of the evening for the WWE United Kingdom Championship. In one corner it was British Strong Styles, Tyler Bate taking on the man Volter. This, what a main event, what a match, really, really good match here. Absolutely went the distance, I think it went on for nearly an hour. Very brutal, very hard hitting, very, just why, why, why was all I've got to say. What a match. I actually gave the match a standing ovation at the end as we, as we were sitting here. Um, and no title change downs, and still your WWE UK champion is Volter. So I give NXT UK a 10 out of 10. What an event it was. And do like and subscribe. Because next up is just one second in fact. Next up is the All Out Review. So the weekend wasn't over, the weekend wasn't done, um, more wrestling to come, and again, what an epic event this was. So we kicked off with two matches on the pre-show, on the buy-in, it was a 21-woman casino battle royal match, making history here, um, good match, and certainly different from the typical battle royal match, I mean, WWE, um... With women coming in, you know, every now and again, you're very, very good. And some former WWE and Impact people have now signed with AW, ODB, Jazz, and Tennille Dashwood or Emma are all now in AW. So good to see them there, and hopefully they get pushed. ODB, ODB might not; she's more of a comedy wrestler. Jazz, who knows? But I think Emma will. And coming up the win and winning this battle or match and getting a women's title shot is Nyla Rose, so, I, so you know, big, big win for her there, personally probably would have had awesome con winning, but there you go, your second match and tag team match on the pre-show was the private party taking on Angelico and Jack Evans, and this was a good match, really good match, probably again didn't really go the distance, I think they were running out of time, but picking up a tag team win was the private party. We then kicked off with the main card, and we kicked off with a six-man tag team match. It was SCU, Saul Collins, and taking on their three opponents, a team of Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, and Marco Stunt. So it was in my first look at Marco Stunt, and yeah, he was all right. And good match, good six-man tag team match here. Um, and coming out with the win, the surprising win was Saw Cal Uncensored. If I had booked that, I would have had Luchasaurus, Jungle Boy, and Marco Stunt being your winners. Next up, it was. Um, I believe it was. Just one second here. Which one, which one was it? Oh, uh. I believe it was another tag team match. It was the Dark Order taking on the best friends. This was, yeah, an okay match. Um, the Dark Order, you know, this is my second time looking at them in action. And there, yeah, I think I've got a lot, lot better. And I don't think the best friends really needed a win here. And they didn't get a win because the Dark Orders got the win. And I would, that's how I would have booked it. Next up was a triple threat cracker barrel clash match that saw the 
bad boy Joy Janela, the extreme Jimmy Havoc, and the one and only Darby Allen in this match. And what a crazy, crazy, brutal match it was. Tables, ladders, steel steps, a barrel, a skateboard, a staple gun, all involved in this one. Absolutely brutal. And this is really the Jimmy Havoc we need. But I don't think I'm going to get him all the time. Probably just on big events. Um... But yeah, absolutely crazy match. Darby Allen doing you know, the coffin drop or, or from on, just after, what can I say about this? Darby Allen doing the coffin drop, the la barrel underneath him, and he landed on the steel steps with his back. That just looks hor horrifying. Um, and yeah, just some the skateboard had thumbtacks underneath. Just an absolute brutal match. But picking up his first ever AW win was Jimmy Havoc. Next up in singles action, it was the Bastard Pack taking on the cleaner, Kenny Omega. And what a match this was. Pack's first ever AW match. Um, even though he, he, he did say later on it was his return. Anyway, but yeah, good, good match here. Uh, fans absolutely loved Kenny Omega but hated Pack. And kind of winning also with his first ever AW win was pack so a bit of a shocker there next up was also in singles action it was cody taking on the perfect 10 sean spears this was a good match we had tully blanchard in um sean's corner we had mgf in cody's corner we had Arn anderson get involved in this one so good to see him there and yeah, good, good match. Back foot, back and forth action. Um, good, good match here. And I would have had picking up the 1, 2, 3, picking up that W, Cody, but Sean, sorry, Cody did win, sorry, but I would have had Sean Spears win. I think he really needed to go over. Next up, in women's action, it was Rio, and it was Hikaru, Hikaru Shida. Um... Again, not too, too familiar with these women. This was an okay match. And picking it up, the victory was Ryu. So it will now be Ryu taking on Nala Rose for the Women's Championship when they, when AEW get one. Next up was a championship match. And it was for the AAA World Tag Team titles in a ladder match. Brothers, Tag Team versus Tag Team. It was the Lucha Brothers. It was the Young Bucks. Uh, gun match. Absolutely high-flying action. Went everywhere. Everybody flying off ladders. Hard hitting, fast paced, back and forth, absolute great match here. Pentagon Dark or Pentagon getting unmasked. Um, yeah, good, 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 good match. And the title did not change hands because walking out still your Triple A World Titan Champions are the Lucha Brothers. And in your main event of the evening, history was made. It was. The former Y2J Chris Jericho taking on the Hangman, Adam Page, for the AEW All Elite Wrestling Championship. And what a match this was. I did enjoy uh, Adam's entrance coming out on a horse. I thought that was a nice touch. But in fact, you know, all the entrances throughout the night, I think, were good. Um... You know, like, a lot different from WWE. You kind of, kind of saw the Tyson Tron entrance video actually on screen which i thought was good uh yeah this match was good we saw because you got, got busted open you saw blood um and yeah good match many pinfall attempts but coming out with the win and making history and your first ever aew champion is chris jericho so a big win for him and congratulations to him and did he he the best in the world make his debut did cm punk make his debut no he didn't, but so I don't think he's now going to. Don't think he's going to sign with AEW. But what an event this was! I also give this ten out of ten. Do like and subscribe. I'll say it again: like and subscribe. And if you've already liked and subscribed, then you don't get your two shout outs. So the people that keep asking, and you know who you are, unfortunately, you don't get them. But to everybody else, like and subscribe right now. Because the future is FCW.